The coronavirus pandemic has brought so many changes to our daily lives. The restrictions we face vary person to person, country to country, but it affects how we ride our bikes, how we work, even the kind of food that's available to us. But in among the harrowing statistics and the general anxiety, there are some positive news stories out there. Many of them are involving people riding bikes. So we have gotten together three mini stories to share with you. The first involves pro cyclists becoming the fastest delivery riders in the world. The second is a charity, Bike for Good, based in Scotland. And then finally, we've got one based right here in my hometown of Bristol, which we're going to start with because he's actually delivering my morning coffee. A true hero. legs are very sore today for all the sprinting. It's okay because I'm full of endorphins and about to become full of caffeine. So my name's Kit and this is Lost Horizon Coffee. I started this last summer. So this roaster, second hand, um, built this place, finished it about September. So when uh, lockdown started, there was uh, quite uh, an increase in demand for the letterbox coffee. Uh, I was doing maybe a couple of delivery rounds beforehand, which had maybe 10 orders in each. But but now, like yesterday, there was 20 orders. Um, I can't carry any more than that. That's like a full bag, full rack. It's been really nice to uh, like actually cater for people that are having to stay at home. Um, and, and provide a service. It's really nice to be meeting customers too from the pavement. I'll drop the packet, I'll stand back on the pavement and talk to people from a slight distance. Hey Kit, how's Yo, it going? It's, up, it's good fun riding right now. <laughs> In the sense that the roads are super clear. The air is really keen too. It's, it, it makes quite a difference to riding around the city. And because the air is cleaner, you know, sky looks just so much more vibrant. Like everything, there is a carbon footprint associated with drinking coffee, from farming to shipping to boiling the kettle. The general consensus is that one kilo of coffee contributes 11 kilos of carbon. Kit, however, offsets 22 kilos of carbon for every kilo of Lost Horizon. And yes, delivering coffee by bike might only be a small contribution to that, but there are other benefits, like zero emissions contributing to a more pleasant urban environment. Right, so this is the roaster. She's called Dolores. I inherited her with that name. Um, she roasts about one and a half kilos of coffee per batch, and a batch takes about 12 minutes, something like that. And it's taken us a little while to get to know one each one another and uh, work out the subtle nuances of behaviour. So I suppose you all want to see the setup. Uh, this is my my bike. I've got a steel frame made in Germany with the Columbus Zona. Steel means I don't have to be too careful about it, but it's still light enough. We've got a Sugino crank set and bottom bracket from Japan. We've got the Philwood hubs. And impressively, he rides with a broken plastic front basket held together with some bungees and I believe the odd zip tie. A true hack. It's really nice to, uh, to get to meet people at the moment. There's this sort of strange sense of, obviously everybody's just separate from each other. They've all isolated themselves, but there's this kind of community feel that's come with that. People give each other two meters, three meters on the streets or as you cycle past. But there's a sense that we're all in it together and people are sharing smiles. Um, it's, it's, it's really nice to see that. The next mini story is based a little further north from here. Bike for Good are a small bike charity based in Glasgow in Scotland, whose mission is to enable people to cycle for transport. However, during coronavirus, their focus is expanding just a little bit. Bike 
For Good is a cycling charity and social enterprise based in Glasgow. Usually we run two community hubs, each with a shop and a full community outreach programme. We collect bikes from across Glasgow to stop them from going to landfill and then our team of mechanics refurbish these bikes and we sell them on via our shops so that people have access to an affordable means of transport. Bike for Good has definitely had to adapt due to the coronavirus crisis. The first idea that we had was to provide a delivery service for essential goods to our vulnerable service users that we work with. We also are providing free bike loans for key workers. So we've got doctors and nurses and support workers who would usually use trans uh, public transport to get to work. They are now coming to us and borrowing a bike for free. And we are also providing one-to-one -one doctor bike mechanical sessions via video calls. People have been overwhelmingly positive about us delivering food by bikes. We've had lots of curious questions about what kind of bikes we're using, if they're electric, how fast they can go. Um, people have been really glad that we've been able to deliver to them. Um, and also to be a point of contact for them. Hi, I'm here outside Glasgow Bike for Good, um, and it's pretty sunny today, and I'm gonna show you the cargo bikes that we've been using during the COVID crisis to deliver. So first up, we have the GFD turn. So when we are carrying food, we pop them in these pannier bags, which fit about two really big bags of groceries in them, and then with the old box and old inner tube technique we've got space for another three or four full bags of shopping so this is our bullet it's made by larry versus harry it's a really fun bike to ride it takes a little while to get used to the handling with the steering being so up far out the front um, we've got the kids carrier on the front because actually it's a great way of carrying loads of shopping so one of the more positive stories i've been involved with is been helping out our our volunteer coordinator yanni uh, yanni is a fantastic baker of bread and with the local bread shortages, this was a great opportunity for us to help out. But the only problem was um, was trying to get flour to Yanni, because Yanni doesn't actually have a, own a car. So that's where our trusty cargo bike transports 60 kilograms plus um, to her. So now Yanni's actually baked over 70 loaves of bread uh, for our local community. And I'm, I'm just happy that I could have, I was able to help out. Why do we do what we do? We're all really keen and passionate cyclists and we've seen the benefits. So we want to change lives through cycling. Awesome stuff. And now, the fastest bike delivery rider in the world. Bernie Eisel managed to grab a quick chat with Davide Martinelli of Astana in between training sessions and supporting his local community by delivering essentials to vulnerable people. Here we have Davide Martinelli. Davide, thank you for taking the time for this interview. I mean, how are you at the moment? I mean, you were under lockdown for so many weeks now and pretty much since a week you're allowed to train outside or not? Yeah, normally the next week we can train outside. But now we are still in lockdown, so it starts to be a bit long. I mean, you come from uh, the Lombardy region. It was hit really hard by the coronavirus a small down Lodetto and I mean how did you get uh, involved in delivering medical kit to to the locals? Yeah uh, true, uh, Lombardia it, it was really under coronavirus and uh, a small group of people in my small city Lodetto it start to to be uh, ready for do something uh, for the old people and when I heard it uh, I was thinking uh, why not uh, it can be my moment normally the, the night before the evening or afternoon I, I receive uh, all the plan for the following day so I know already where I have to go where I have to start uh, who is the first people if I have to go in pharmacy or at the supermarket so it's all very well organized so for me it's easy which bike did you use for for it mountain bike i use a mountain bike because it's more easy when i have uh, uh, on the back uh, my backpack uh, and sometimes is uh, full so 
it's more easy and more comfortable for me. I mean, how many kilometers did you do then that day? I mean, and did you use it as a training? Did you push on or did you just, at the end, just enjoy being, being outside and to ride your bike? No, it's uh, only enjoying because, uh, you know, five kilometers. Sometimes I did also three times per day, but in total is, I don't know, 25, 30 kilometers. It, it must have been really surreal to ride around uh, your region and no traffic or pretty much no traffic, no people on the road and just you and your bike. Yeah, that's true. That's true because where I live, normally there aren't a lot of cars, but uh, now it's really, I can do all the, all the trip, 10 kilometers without cars. So it's really like uh, during a war. I cannot, uh, it's uh, unreal. And what did your family say? Uh, I've read that your dad, who's uh, one of the most successful uh, sports directors in our sport, uh, he said this is bigger than a victory. Yeah, yeah, it's true. When I explained to them uh, my idea, uh, they was happy. It was a good moment for uh, for do something for my village. And uh, yes, also my father said, uh, if you want to do it, you must do it. And I support you for sure, 100%. Great story, Mar uh, Davide, really. I'm proud of you and I think many other people too. And good luck for hopefully a season that starts in autumn. I hope. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, <laughs> go away. Oh, man. <sighs> Cheers, folks. Ooh, that is good. That is a good brew. Right. Got to say some huge thank yous, not just to Kit for delivering my morning coffee, but to all of those incredible people out there that are supporting their local communities at the moment. Fantastic. And also, I'd love to hear more of these stories as well. So if you know of anyone who in your local area is doing something fantastic, whether they're on a bike or not, then give them a big shout out in the comment section down below. It could be a small business. It could be super fast professional cyclist delivery riders. Whatever it is, we want to know. Because uh, well, how cool would it be if we can keep making videos like this? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I am just going to savor this moment a little longer. <laughs>